Matt here with some prepnology for you. Uh, this one is actually for the ladies, so all you pretty girls and all you ugly ones too, listen up. You don't have to wait until it hits the fan to uh, expect crime rate or a crime rate. We've got it already. There's already crime. There's already uh, you know bad things that happen to good people. So that being said, it's still your responsibility now to protect yourself, as it will be later on. But uh, there's there's a lot of things you can do, and I know that not all girls are comfortable uh, carrying this, um, and that's fine. You know, a lot of people, guys and girls both, haven't been brought up around these, so they don't understand them, they, they have a fear of them, that's fine. You don't have to carry a gun. There's other options. Um, pepper spray. Awesome, awesome tool. I actually carry this almost everywhere I go. I keep one in the car and I keep one on me. Um, because I go places and I don't want to have to worry about, you know, well, maybe I shouldn't go there. I, I couldn't, I don't know if, you know, just feel free to go wherever you want. Just prepare beforehand and you'll be fine. So pepper spray is an awesome tool. This is kind of a big can. Maybe not something you'd want to stick in your pocket, but you got purse, throw it in your purse. And uh, don't wait until somebody's in your face to pull it out or go looking for it. If you're in a in an area by yourself and you're walking around corners and you know looking for your car or whatever, go ahead, open up your purse, reach in, put your finger on the button. No, you don't have to push, but you can be ready and just have it sitting there. And then if somebody jumps out or makes you feel uncomfortable, you can just pull it right out. It's ready to rock. So it's not going to kill somebody. Um, the legal implications of, of, you know, putting somebody in the ground or in the hospital um, don't necessarily exist with this. Um, you know, spray them and you can run. It's a very effective tool. I've used it. Um, it was actually when I was working security. Um, and it's, it's a very effective tool. It'll put multiple people on the ground and in a hurry. So, uh, that said, I don't think you should just spray your friends with it or anything. It's, it's still a, uh, a dangerous thing and it could make somebody go blind if they don't receive the proper treatment afterwards. So, uh, you know, educating yourself on how to use whatever you've got is the best way to, to uh, do it. Now this here I picked up at a garage sale for a quarter and you can buy them at the big box stores. It's, it's just a little piezo alarm and with a lanyard attached to it. When you pull the lanyard, this obnoxious noise comes out and while it may not necessarily stop an intruder, it may give you enough time to know that somebody's breached the entry and is coming in your, your residence, your, your, your space. So um, give you a little bit of a heads up in the middle of the night, middle of the afternoon, it doesn't matter. If you hear it go off, you can make your way towards something more effective like this or even this. So think about it. There's there's a lot of things that you can do. There's pepper spray, there's tasers. Uh, I don't have a taser here for you, but uh, um, there's a lot of things that you can do to protect yourself. But the number one tool to have is this right here. Because if you're the kind of person that just, you know, wanders around and, and, and doesn't really pay much attention to the world around you, then I think you need to change your game because um, as things get worse with the economy, as, as people get more desperate, um, the, the crime rate's bound to go up. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a total social collapse with rampant crime everywhere to, to start thinking about personal security. So, um, and that's, that's for the guys too. You know, we've got to think about it just as much as you. So, but then again, you know, criminals oftentimes target women more than men because they are perceived to be weaker. That's not, not the case, but um, that's the perception. So that's oftentimes who they go for. So use your head, think about where you're going, the area you're going to be in, um, what are the potential threats, what are potential ways to get out of uh, a bad situation, you know, what, where's the closest, you know, coffee shop with people in it, where's the, the, the closest place you can go where there's others around. Um, 
because it's it's always more dangerous, male or female, it doesn't matter, but uh, it's always more dangerous to be alone in a place. Uh, it makes you an easier target. Safety in numbers, right? You know, use your head, use your head and think about where you're going, who you're with, and uh, you'll be a whole lot safer. It doesn't have to be total social collapse for, for you to uh, still have the responsibility to take care of you. So look into getting into some classes, look into getting some, you know, whether it's firearms training or whether it's just a, a big bottle of pepper spray um, at the police supply store. So think about it. Uh, if you have any suggestions, you know, there's the comments box down there, throw something down there. If you're a, a woman that uh, has been through a situation and gotten herself out of it, uh, I'd love to hear your story. So thank you. My name is Matt and uh, I'll be making some more videos.